Welcome to your tutorial on how to create a web page with Adobe Express. To create your page, hit the plus button and scroll down to web page. Next, open your themes. If you set up branding and page templates, you can select one of those. If not, you can select one of the default templates. When choosing a theme, you are really changing fonts and colors. So make sure that those choices match your topic. And you can always change your theme later. It doesn't change your content. Your first choice is how to create your cover. And notice with this plus button, you can just add a photo, add a short cover, or add a split layout. Let's look at these other two options and then we will stick with the photo option. So our split layout looks like this. So if you wanted a small headline and then maybe a description of your content, you can jump right into that. Your short cover is a little smaller. Now if you did this, you would either want just a title or a very, very horizontal photo. Let's go back to just photo and talk about what kind of photos you can add. So when I select the photo option, I can upload a photo and I can then choose a focal point. Now if I decide, you know, this one doesn't work very well, I can still reselect a different photo. I'm just clicking on the background and I can delete this entirely and choose a new photo. Notice I can pull from all sorts of different sources. So from my Lightroom, my Creative Cloud, Dropbox, Google Drive, and I can search for royalty photos from both Adobe Stock and Unsplash. So let's try a different upload. And again, I'm just clicking on that background and we're going to move that focal point and save. Now I'm kind of looking at this and I'm not liking how those lines are working with that background. So I can always come in and choose a different style. And notice as I do this, it's not at all changing what's going on with my text in the background. So let's say I want to stick with that one. So I'll add my headline and this headline style is dependent on that theme that I chose. Now once I get my headline style in here, I can move this around and notice as I move it, I can change where it's placed within my image. Now you may have noticed this little cog wheel down here. You'll see this with all photos. And this allows you to add alt text. And really you should do this. This allows search engines and screen readers to have that image description read to them. Now, if your image is just serving as decoration, you don't need that. But if it's part of your content, you will want to describe it. Once we've got our cover in place, we can go ahead and begin to add content. Express helps you easily add content by simply selecting this plus button. So let's begin with some text. So I'm just copying some content here and then I can style it. So I've selected all of that text and I can style with an H1 or an H2. These are also helpful for accessibility because that's going to allow those screen readers to read those as headlines and subheads. And again, just to show you that we can always change our themes, again, if I decide, you know, I'm not liking this option, I wanna to switch to this, boom, I can do that. So you have complete flexibility as you work. Let's experiment with some other text we can create. So I'm going to 
grab this and we're going to copy it. Note I'm just copying and pasting. And so when I pasted all of that, notice it all pasted in separate lines. So that's something to look out for. Now I'm just going to pull a couple of these and style those with that bullet. And you can kind of get the point of how we can style that. And we could also create numbered as well. Let's explore some of the other options. So adding a photo again gives us all kinds of options for how we want to treat these photos. So I will select one. And so this is an inline photo. Notice it fits perfectly in there. But I can also click on that photo, have it fill the screen. Notice that gives me a caption. I still have my accessibility. I can have it in a window. This is kind of a, a nice way when you have more of a decorative photo and you kind of want to break up some content, you can do that. Here's your full width, so this is the full width and full size image. You can even move this, so if I decided I want to move this down, I can move that down. And so then that other content popped up. I can replace it and delete that photo. So let's leave that in line and notice I can still add that caption and alt text. So we've experimented with basic photos and we've experimented with text. Let's look at adding buttons. So buttons are like hyperlinks, but they're separate than adding them from text. So let's compare that. So this first part is what people will read, and then I'm just going to copy this link and paste it in there, and I can decide my alignment and hit save. And so the style, the color of this is again dependent on my theme. Now this works different than if I have in-text hyperlinks. So in-text hyperlink would be me selecting the text, hitting this link button, and pasting that link in there. So kind of depending on if you want viewers to access that link inside the content or kind of as a separate item. You can also insert videos. Now, your videos have to be hosted somewhere. So you can't just upload a video from your desktop. It needs to be on YouTube, Vimeo, or even from an Adobe Express video. In this case, I'm going to grab one from YouTube. So I just come down here. I grab my share link, I copy that, I paste that, and I hit save. And that comes right into my screen with all of the play skin right there. Next to photo grid, and this is a great presentation if you have a lot of images that you want to collect together. So we'll just select a whole bunch of those, and you can see it grids those out, and I can move those around. So if I want to move that over there, I can. If I want to move that and make it larger, I can. So you have complete control over how all of these look. And we'll go ahead and save those. And so there's our photo grid. And if we decide, oh, you know what, I want to edit that, we can come back and edit. We can decide that we want fewer images. We can make things smaller. All kinds of options. One of my favorite layouts is the glide show. So this is similar to the grid, except it's kind of like scrolling through them. So we're going to open those. There's all of our images, and we can just change the order of those by moving backward. We'll hit Save. And so this is what the Glide Show looks like. And so a different presentation. Um, again, you have to really look at the size of those to work with those. And finally, our split layout. And we saw this originally with the cover, but this can also be a content block. 
So again, we can add our image and then we can come over here and add text, buttons, and videos. So let's say we've got all of our layout done, we've perfected our content. There's a variety of things we can do at this point. So first of all, we can show a header and a footer. We can add Google Analytics tracking to this. We can preview this, so this would be a great way to kind of see what viewers would see when they look at our page. And so we can scroll through exactly what it would look like to viewers. And we're done, we'll just hit that X. We can present this. So not only can this be treated as a web page, this can be a presentation. So a, a nice little alternative to um, the typical PowerPoint or Keynote. And finally, we can create a shareable link. I'll click the share button and then publish and share link. Give it a title. I have to pick a category. I can show my authorship name. If I have specific photo credits, I would want to use those. Now, if I used a photo from Unsplash or Adobe Stock, it would automatically add those photo credits right there and I can create the link. Now with this link, I can copy it and share it via email, by social media, all kinds of things. I can also grab the embed code. So if I wanted to embed this, say in a WordPress site, I would just grab that embed code and then embed that code onto my WordPress page. Now the fun thing about using that, let's say that we created our share link, which we did, but then I decide I don't want this glide show. So I'm gonna delete it. So I've made changes to this. When I publish and share link, it's simply going to update the link. The link does not change. That means if you share this out to someone and they're, maybe you're collaborating, and they say, oh, can you make this change? You can make it and then say, check that link again. The link never changes. Finally, you can collaborate. So you can add other students and other people to your quote design to edit it. Now, it does not let you edit at the same time, so it's not a co-edit like a Google Doc, but it will show this page as checked out to the other person. So you can collaborate back and forth. You can also copy a link. So that is your overview of how to create a web page with Adobe Express. Have fun. I think this is such a great tool to create some really interesting multimedia content. Mm -hmm.